Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna start eating and then we'll get to what I got from Sephora. I didn't get too much. Yes. French fries and ketchup from Pure Kitchen. Oh, right on time for a video. You can lurk in the background and scare people. Video bomb. <laughs> Do you want some french fries? Uh, nah, I'm good. You sure? I don't want people to think I'm starving you. <laughs> nah, I just got this. Kind of too early for fries. Yeah, I've been up for a while, so this is my dinner. Oh, yes, babies. Okay, so... Pure Kitchen is a vegan place, vegetarian. I mean, the only vegetarian options they have are you can get like real cheese with your stuff or you can get cashew cheese, you know, but uh, which they make there, but mostly vegan. And are you going upstairs? Yep. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, so so these are their fries. They're so good. They make homemade ketchup. The ketchup is really good. It's like got like a savory spice in it. I don't know. And this is the cheerful BLT. So they make uh, it's on fresh sourdough bread. It's huge. And it has lettuce, pickles, um, vegan mayo, some kind of herbs, uh, tomato obviously. And this is tempeh bacon. So I've never had tempeh bacon. So let's give you, let's give you a beauty bite. Beauty, 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 beauty. And see how it is. Mm. Oh yeah, there's avocado on it too. Mmm. That bread is so good. Mmm. Napkin? <laughs> How fitting that maze calendar theme is Don't Give Up. Just when I was feeling like I'm about to and under construction, which is the name of the game in my life right now. Hey guys, hey, so, okay, so what I'm going to have, uh, the first thing I'm gonna have of the day, I haven't had anything to eat or drink yet. Um, so what I'm gonna do is have one of my juices, my shine juice, orange, grapefruit, turmeric, and ginger. And I'm going to put some Mary Ruth's liquid probiotic. Just tastes like water. It's unflavored, um, non-GMO, gluten-free, plant-based, raw, water-based, vegan. Um, so you're supposed to put like four of these droplets. And I usually do that in like a smoothie or just give it a little gentle swish around. Um, I'm also going to take my methyl B12 organic liquid spray, extra strength, um, berry flavored B12, Mary Ruth Organics. I really love her products and I'm going to take, you just spray it in your mouth for sprays. So I'm going to take that. I'm also going to take my morning even though it's not morning right now liquid multivitamin that i've shown you guys before and i'm gonna take this and then i'm gonna prepare lunch and i'll show you guys what i'm gonna have for lunch so i'm gonna be cooking these crispy tenders by gardein they are vegan friendly chicken meat-free chicken tenders so i'm gonna cook some of those in here in the fry basket So this is what I'm having. Some bell pepper, carrots, a guac cup, one olive because they're high in sodium, and my Gardein chicken strips with a bit of ketchup. So yeah, yum. That's my lunch. So this is what they look like inside. 
Looks like chicken. <laughs> to me. Maybe like that like pressed chicken you find in like BK or Wendy's nuggets. But they're really good. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, so I have a bit of a grocery haul for you. I just went to do some groceries for myself. Um, Pete's buys his own groceries and his own stuff. And uh, yeah, mostly, you know, when I'm in the mood to cook something for him and I'm nice and I do, but it's not gonna be all the time. So he has, he likes his ready-made meals and stuff like that. So just so you know how that works. <laughs> um, disinfected what I could with my Lysol wipes and I'm ready to show you what I got. First thing I got, I'll do the produce, I guess. I got two potatoes and a large carrot. And this is for, um, I'm, I like to make um, plant-based cheese sauce, which I will do a recipe for you guys. Very simple using carrots and potatoes and some nutritional yeast and a few other ingredients. And it is like exceptionally delicious, I promise you. So I'm gonna be making that for some recipes. A lemon for some lemon water. I did buy this lemon juice as well that I like to use for my um, vegan cheese recipe. So got that lemon. Picked up some bananas, which are still green, but even though I prefer them a bit more ripe, I'm gonna be using one in a smoothie soon. So I really am craving a strawberry banana smoothie. So that's what we're gonna do. Picked up some cashew dream fortified cashew milk beverage and it's unsweetened. Oh, I also did get some more produce things, but they're buried, so I'll get to them in a minute. I got some um, spinach, which is dripping with strawberry juice. <laughs> so, got some spinach for some smoothies. Best way to get your spinach in, guys, your greens, is in a smoothie with fruit, especially banana, because you can't taste it at all. So you're like tricking your body. <laughs> I love spinach, but just, you know, get it in extra. Um, I did get some very leaky, it was a really ripe, it's a smushed strawberry at the bottom. So I got some strawberries. They had no frozen strawberries left. So kind of scary, but usually I like to get the frozen, but they had none. So I got this this container of strawberries, which was kind of pricey, but anyway. Um, all right, what else did I get here? I got some more Miyoko's because I finished the other one I had before. This is cultured vegan butter made with fermented cashew. And it is just better than real butter in my opinion. It is delicious. Also got some of these. I never tried this brand. Emborg cheddar style dairy free shreds rich and smooth they look like real cheese and you know I love cheese like <laughs> there's any anything holding me back from like finally taking the plunge and eating fully plant-based was cheese so definitely gonna try this um, we'll see how it goes all right and I got more dairy I'm gonna try these silk these are from Danone and they come in like a weird Hey, you're bees and bee. She's bees in today. She's knocking things off the counter, aren't you, bee? Um, this is almond yogurt alternative. So this is vanilla. Will be good with some berries. And this is berries in acai. Acai? How do you? I don't even know. Whatever. <laughs> Something like that. So I'm excited to try those because I really like dairy-free yogurt. Actually, I usually when I have yogurt, I do buy. Like I do buy the dairy-free when I see it. I like the Daya brand, it's really good. All right, so vegan meats, and I love I love these. Like these are delicious. Um, okay, so I, I got the jumbo style hot dogs because like wieners and cheese are my like, oh, I love them so much. They're so good. Um, I don't have uh, buns for them, but I could eat them just like that, like fried in some Miyoko's butter. <sighs> And, uh, okay, I got some breakfast sausages. They look like breakfast sausages, so I got them because I want to do like a breakfast mukbang and do like a really delicious pancake 
recipe for you guys. I got some veggie ham and I got some veggie bologna. Yes. So, and this I love. Um, I don't know if when you were young if you had cream of wheat cereal. <sighs> Bring me back. I should get some jam. I need jam or berries, but creamy wheat hot cereal. So this is, um, yeah, cream of wheat cereal. So I'm gonna use my like um, cashew dream milk and put some berries and some maple syrup. You have yourself a good cereal, my friends. All right, oh, I need to put like a, I'm gonna stain my counter. The berries smell so good. I'm gonna have some like right now. All right, I got some Ezekiel bread because this is really good. I actually like the flavor and it's um, organic sprouted, which is better on the digestive system and um, you absorb more nutrients if it's sprouted. So it's organic sprouted Ezekiel sprouted grain loaf. Yeah, I've showed you that before. And everything bagels. Oh, these are gluten free. I did not know, 100% plant-based. I didn't know they were gluten free. They smell good. They smell like everything bagels. So I got, it comes in a four pack. They're kind of expensive, but now I know why, because they're gluten free and I didn't realize that. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the freezer actually now. I got these to try. These are root vegetable. Root vegetable chips, parsnip, taro, sweet potato, yucca, and batata. Bata so I've never heard of a few of these things. Taro, I did try recently a taro bubble tea. Oh my God, you have to try that. It's it's like a sweet, it's sweet. You know, all of these vegetables taste similar. Um, so yeah, these are really good. Very little ingredients, um, canola oil, uh, sea salt. Yeah, beet juice and the vegetables. So can't go wrong there, you know. The strawberries are leaking, they're bleeding. And I wanted to try these, these caught my eye. Um, these are sea salt and black pepper pita chips. And these are crafted in Canada, Cedar Valley selections. These also have very minimal ingredients. Um, caution, leaving your pita chips in plain sight may result in family feuds. Okay. <laughs> no preservatives, no added sugars, no artificial, no blah, 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 no, 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 nothing. And these are vegan as well. So let's try these right now. I wish I had some hummus or something. Oh, I have my guacamole cups. So they look like this. Beauty bait. Mmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's the coconut oil. So ingredients, unbleached, enriched, unbleached, enriched wheat flour, water, coconut oil, sea salt, yeast, and spice. Mm. That coconut oil, you can taste it, a hint of coconut. <laughs> you need bread of your choice. I'm using one of my everything bagels. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We are going to put some Miyoko's vegan butter. Mm. We had a butter knife. I don't know where it went to, but it's annoying. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put some butter here. It's very spreadable too, even out of the fridge compared to regular butter. So now we're gonna add the deli meat. So I'm adding veggie ham and veggie bologna. It has a smoky, it doesn't, it has, it somehow does smell kind of like ham. I don't know how. 
I mean, it isn't not entirely like ham, but it does have that ham. I don't know, it kind of does what I'm trying to say. And here's the bologna. Bologna, I call it bologna. My grandpa used to, ah, you're full of bologna. <laughs> yes, I will be. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna add some shreds. Whew, cheesy. <laughs> Just like that. Mm hmm. Okay, and now I'm going to add this to the. Uh, use the kasori again. I'm gonna put it on the broiler pan. going to broil it and there you have it my quick and easy dinner um so what I'm gonna do is make a smoothie so I'll show you what I'm gonna have in that so I'm gonna use my ninja um Nutra ninja okay so I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some strawberry some spinach and banana few ice cubes because the I'm gonna freeze some of these bananas but I wasn't able to I just got them at the market today so I'm just gonna put a couple of ice four ice cubes for it to be cold real maple syrup oh yeah <laughs> just add a little bit of sweetness to it because the milk unsweetened that might have been too much but I'll find out and then I'll know next time <laughs> and now some cashew dream we're gonna shake it well shake it up baby now shake it up baby all right we're gonna add the milk gonna add a little bit of water another ice cube. We'll see how this works. <laughs> All right. All right. Moment of truth. It's very liquidy, so maybe I didn't need all that water. <laughs> it's pretty liquidy. That makes a huge smoothie. Holy crap. This will be filling. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Beauty sip. Tastes so different with fresh strawberries. Yours is much more colorful. Yes, that's because mine has vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> yours looks... I'm craving yours, I'm not going to lie. So mine, guys, has... It's, um... Uh, plant-based pizza so tomato sauce um, has plant-based chorizo crumble um, sun-dried tomatoes Kalamata olives spinach cilantro onions and uh, dairy-free cheese so yeah and his has Pepper cute. pepperoni you can't hide from people <laughs> so he hasn't been shaved or we didn't do the man bun or makeup we're gonna do that tomorrow or well, that video will be out tomorrow but no eye makeup so we'll see because I'm phobic about things being near my eyes yes well we'll try to make you as pretty as we can without uh, yep. well we can't really see the pizza but that's okay. Mm. It's really hot. Yes, it is. Whew. Little pizza. Mm. 
Mm. The pepperoni is pizza. Mine's good. I think they use a bio life cheese, which is a very good cheese. It's really hot. Mm. The plant-based chorizo has a chorizo texture. It has that really um, Mexican seasoning. Mm. We really wanted to try Caesar. We've been planning to try Little Caesars before I moved in here. <laughs> I've never had it. Neither has he. But I'm like, they don't have plant-based options. <laughs> I'm hyper tonight. Can you tell? You look like a school teacher sitting up there. B! You look like a school teacher. <laughs> you do. From like a little house on the prairie. You look good, Pete's. Just need a pair of glasses. I'm buttering my biscuit. I'm buttering my Belgian waffle. Oh, they give you syrup. None of this crap. And I have breakfast today, guys. So hungry. And yes, it's not vegan. I need to eat like I normally would or I'm going to like literally lose it. Was I crabby yesterday? Yep. Strawberry compote. Ooh. <laughs> this is a Belgian waffle. And we're gonna put real, what do you call this, Merple Circle? Merple Circle. Merple Circle. I gotta do a thumbnail. Hello. Today I have for you a Taco Bell mukbang. So let's get to it, let's get to it. And, whoa, this taco is super soggy. That's what she said. No, no, no. <laughs> now, I got a triple or a stacker, something stacker big box. So, yeah. Now, I don't want to hear people come on. I don't want to hear comments because I'm going to talk about something, but I'm also just going to enjoy my food. And I don't want people to just flood my comments with comment after comment that I hear every single video. Just let me live my life, okay? My weight is my problem. This is not a weight loss channel. Um, so just be quiet and watch my video. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> if you want to comment about anything else, that's fine. And yes, I'm out of breath. I was just running after the cats because they were beezing. Okay, so. <laughs> All right. Especially since I know that when I start talking about what I'm going to talk about, People are gonna come in with, well, you can't do that when you're fat. You can't do that when you're fat. Just, you're not gonna tell me anything I don't know already. So just, shh. I say shh, okay? All right, so, all right. And it's in a KFC cup because Taco Bell and KFC are in the same building. You can order off the same menu. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my god. I just <laughs> got a hell of a workout trying to get this pizza. <laughs> so I ordered from Uber Eats because today you get a discount, like 20% off. Takeout Wednesday. And they leave it at your door, right? Well, you know what that means? They leave it at the door. <laughs> so, like, my front door is kind of has like a lip and the box was there and I'm like trying to bend and my dress is super short. I have underwear on luckily, but uh, oh my God, I mooned the delivery man, which is okay. Cause he probably wants me anyways. <laughs> and yeah, so I mooned the guy. Free show. 
free show. All right, so what do I have? So we have, so for dip sauces, we have two Alfredo. Their Alfredo is really good. And peppercorn ranch. Cinnamon bun. Yeah, oh, please. Hold on, I gotta get a thumbnail in here. All right, I'm gonna cover this so that we can have dessert later. So I got a Supreme Lovers, um, just regular crust, I guess. Should have got stuffed crust. What the hell was I thinking? So this is just, uh, you know, there's Supreme Pizza. There's like a bunch of stuff on it. <laughs> and, hi Sammy. The cats always come as soon as, boneless wings. I got the honey barbecue. Hello, Foodie Beauties. Hello. I'm trying not to talk too loud because pizza's working. So, today we are going to um, do something a bit different. Um, we are going to do, I'm pretty sure I did this maybe before, I'm sure I did. <laughs> but this is going to be an actual official fast food funeral. I have to do this, so it's either it's either I quit YouTube or I change the program or I change my material. And um, do I love eating fast food and things that are not good for me? Yes. Do I wish I could eat them every day without consequence? Obviously. But that's not the case. It's just not gonna work out. And um, no matter how much I think I can control fast food, it controls me. So, and a lot of people are going to say no shit. You know, you've blocked a lot of people for telling you stuff like that. And yeah, because I think, I guess it's just something I don't want to be true, you know, like I don't want to have this problem with food. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I don't know how other, other to explain it than just complete denial over the situation. And when I, when I go through phases of saying I can control my eating habits, I'll just have some and I'll eat healthy the rest of the time. And it just never happens. But when I when I when I say those things, it's like I really believe them. So I really don't know how to stop those thoughts from like making them reality. Do you know what I'm saying? So, all right, um, I'm gonna eat today a lot of my favorite junk, and then I have to bury it. Before it buries me. I love it so much. Even though Arby's meat curtains beef sandwich, when you look at it, it doesn't look too appetizing. They must put something. There we go. All right. I need to put more Arby's sauce on this thing. Come to daddy. Come to mama. All right. Beauty bike. Beauty bike. Mm. So I got two Dorito Taco Supreme. The guy ahead of me, I'm like, please don't let his order be too much so I don't have to wait too long. He got like a huge mega meal from the KFC part. Then he got two big boxes 
And then she's like, is there anything else? He's like, oh yeah, and I need eight of your vegetarian burritos. I'm like, lovely. <laughs> Murphy's Law, right? All right. Oh yeah, hot sauce. First bite for you guys, beauty bite. Mm. Mm. Right now, it's so ideal. I'm in a private spot. The food is amazing. Mm. Hmm. Everybody has me questioning. Are you sure you want this to be your last? You'll never be happy not being able to eat this stuff. Hello everyone. I'm making this video in response to an offer of help from a fitness community guru named Papa Swole. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Papa Swole. Swole Enormous is the channel. I, this is my first time checking out one of his videos and he made a video addressing my my feud funeral video and um, not rude or anything like that. Um, so he addressed me in his video and offered for me to become part of the community and offered his help. And <clears throat> I think I can definitely agree with that, that I definitely need help and I think support from a community um, that is supportive of my weight loss would be really a good thing. And I know a lot of you, probably most of you, if not all of you, do want what's good for me um, as well as I do now and I really, really, really really think I need the help and uh, I am definitely willing to to accept the help and I'm just going to um, I guess this is my way of reaching out to you I did leave a comment on your video but just in case <laughs> I thought I would make a video just letting you know that um, I am ready I mean I'm as ready as I'll ever be right <laughs> I don't think like I said in my previous video I don't think I'm ever gonna be fully ready I'm just going to have to do it and but I am as ready as I feel I mean I do feel ready Sam sorry for the uh, bees in the background I, I guess just um let me know how I can reach out to you or if you reach out to me my email is always in the description I would really like to work with you and um I mean you know uh you're super in shape Actually, you're pretty fucking hot and look like Thor, so... <laughs> but, um, so I mean that, that shows that this person's super in shape, so I mean, you know, I hope I can be like that someday, honestly. I have a lot, a lot of work to do, and it's a bit overwhelming at times to think about it, but, um, yeah, because, you know, I, I really... I want to get rid of this, this um, CPAP machine so bad. I don't want to take it on my trip with me. I don't know if that's even going to be possible. I think it's like, what, six months from now? But I know that with help and support, I could be at a better place. And I really promise to give it my all to really put balls to the wall or as you like to say nuts on the chin <laughs> yeah you know so
so um, if you see this, let me know what to do and uh, I will be in your good hands, your good strong four hands. And I look forward to hearing from you and I really look forward to my community of Foodie Beauties supporting this journey and it is for my own good and I really appreciate the help and support. I really do. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate it because it just makes you feel like you're cared about, you know, and it's even, you know, to be cared about by people who you don't even know is extremely awesome. So, all right, guys, so I'm going to go start my day and I will see you in another video coming soon. All right. Bye, guys. All right. So here's the thing. I know a lot of you are dying to um, know how I'm, I'm doing, especially uh, since offering help from Papa Swole. I'm going to link his program. If you want to follow it as well, it's um, I'm going to put it in the description below, uh, swolemormissx.com. And I'm going to go over the wonderful things that I've discovered about this program. And I haven't even unlocked most of it, okay? So, all right. At first, when I checked out his channel, I think my initial reaction was, this asshole's making fun of me. Um, and, and one video he made, I thought, this asshole's making fun of me, he's obnoxious, blah, 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 okay? And then I watched the more recent video where he was offering me help. And then I watched more of his videos and how they're doing it with me is they're providing me for free with their service. So that's very generous. I appreciate it. And I think it's like less than a cup for a cup, $2 and something to access their website. They have different tiers, but the, the, the base one is like two bucks. Okay. And that gives you access. I don't know exactly what all that gives you access to, but I know it does give you access to the Facebook support group, which is, um, uh, which is guarded with admins, so they watch what people post. It's not free for all. It's very positive, very, very supportive. All right, so then I started watching, they unlocked the kitchen part, which is the nutrition uh, side and his philosophy with nutrition and the diet and how to do it. And when I started watching him in those videos, I realized that this man is very, um, I like his philosophy. He's very, well, he's very knowledgeable. He's, yeah, I don't want to tell you everything about it, but it's about an elimination uh, diet. So yes, that would be something that is very ideal for me and especially eliminating a lot of food. And right at the bottom, it says this is not a restriction diet. It is meant to be an elimination diet and it's not forever. It's just temporary so that you can slowly introduce food groups into your diet, wait a, wait a while and see, journal how you're feeling. And it's a very healthy uh, way to do things up, you know, just give your body a rest to cleanse out and everything. And I like that philosophy on paper, <laughs> but in practice, um, knowing myself, and I know you're waiting, you were waiting for a butt, but um, I'm just gonna talk about freely about how my my feelings about everything and I would really appreciate not being judged for it. Um, I'm not trying to just co cop out and not take responsibility for my health and everything like that. But I just feel, I feel like for myself, um, elimination is a form of restriction and I know the idea is to just get past that that hump of like the two weeks and your palate will start to change. But I think um, elimination wise, I'm gonna have to, I think, go a lot slower. I don't know. I just feel, you know, like starting with fast food. And um, I know this is gonna sound bad, but like I said, I'm just gonna like vent exactly my thoughts to you on everything. And 
And I know that because I'm addicted to food, that of course the idea of not having those foods is gonna be depressing. But for me, the thought of always having to, cause I'm a food addict, but I'm also a food lover. I love food, I love making recipes, I love trying foods from different cultures. And to just always have to be super, super strict. I mean, uh, looking at the amount of, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to say what I wanna say. I'm overwhelmed with the amount of people that are really rooting me on to do this. And I really don't want people to think that I'm like dogging, like Swole Normous. I think it's an amazing tool. I think what this person does is amazing. And it has worked for a lot of people. Um, I think finding what really, really works for you and what you feel right doing is key. And despite having so many people believing in this and urging me to do it, I feel like I need a different kind of help. Like I don't think I should have stopped my therapy um, cause I'm not right in the head. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna say it. Um, I think people want me to be a certain way. I get a lot less hate if I'm, if I'm not weird, I'm not farting. Um, if I'm not eating junk and I just kind of feel like a bit depressed like that I can't really just be myself. So today is just gonna be vlog style because I really wasn't planning on doing a video today but I thought turn on the camera because I'm feeling good today I'm feeling positive. I had a great day and night last night. I was able to control binges which binge urges which always a victory. I've been doing really well not eating out and binging and stuff because honestly I'm not really that hungry and I know it's gonna sound weird and you're gonna make fun of me but I'm craving like love and sex more than food and you know what that's not probably a good thing because uh, an addictive personality can become a sex addict or can become any kind of other addict. Now that I'm gone from there it's like he's a distant memory again. It's so weird. Maybe I should not go there. And it, we're not going to be able to be friends. So like we're not friends the same way that Pete and I were because it was very impersonal visit. It was quick. I felt like I was kind of intruding on what he was doing. And he didn't really look at me much when he talked to me. So, okay, hold on. Oh, I hate when my phone cord... All right, so... This is the package, yes, I know. A lot of packaging is the downfall of these things. Um, but yeah, it's um, chicken, here's the chicken. What? I turned, on the, I turned on the oven, I've done my part. Did you put it on 450? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. I'm done. Roast the potatoes and carrots, preheat the oven to 450. Okay, so step one, we're gonna prepare the, um, the vegetables. Let's get two. Uh, we have to wash it. You spend all that money and you have to wash your own produce? Well, yeah. Well, that sucks. The roasted veggies and the barbecue chicken. Now, here's the pesto. Pizza's not gonna try that. It's sorrel pesto and chopped um, garlic, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, and chopped up uh, pumpkin seeds or pepitas. So I'm gonna try it on its own. Oh, and there's honey. Mmm. Oh, wow. Want to try a bite? No. That's really good. Mm. All right. It is in the back of my mind that I do need to move more and exercise more. So, now, I don't know. Do you guys like these kind of vlogs? Um, I was thinking of mixing these kind of vlogs with... Like actually doing like a standing up and like showing you my cooking process and then doing a cook bang kind of thing. 
um, but staying on track. Let me know your thoughts. I know I've asked this a million times, but I don't know. I always forget the answers. <laughs> I'll write them down this time. <laughs> and yes, I end up doing what I want anyways a lot of the time. So this is amazing. Every meal I've had so far from this place, makegoodfood.ca. Again, check the description how you can get $40 off. I'm not sponsored. I love this meal kit, but I have a referral code. <laughs> So, I'm helping you, you can help me. Um, anyway, so this is just, yeah, kind of a quick vlog. I just wanted to check in and let you know I'm crushing my goals again. And I um, feel depressed sometimes because I think, I don't know, it's just like a weird, stupid, grieving thing. Like, why should I miss that food that made me this way? Like, I ate it to make myself this way, but why would I miss that, you know? And it's just like, I just think of that, I just think the feeling will pass and you will thank yourself a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, or less than a year from now when you're on your trip and you're going to have a great time and you've reached your goal. So that is honestly what keeps me going is just thinking, okay, it's going to pass, have some gum. Now another hurdle will be the cheese ghost. <laughs> well, I still eat some cheese, but I'm just imagining like the type of video was like how exciting it's going to be to vlog my new life and buying all new clothes, like going shopping for new clothes at a regular store. Like I'm sick of fucking ordering at Torrid and Pennington's. They have nice clothes, but <sighs> I've always wanted to shop at a regular store. So I need to make a list of things I want to do, you know? And I've been watching my 600 pound life. Where are they now? Whenever I get it, all day I've been watching that, cutting up boxes, I've been doing that because I feel like it's inspiring to see how proud they are to be where they are. Some of them, some of them are kind of, you know, not where they should be. <laughs> and Dr. Now reminds them of that. And, um, or I'll go on Instagram and look through all of like Fat Girl Fed Up or like other weight loss transformation pages. <clears throat> um, I'm not keto, but Gourmet Goes Keto is another one. He was a really big guy and he lost like tons of weight. He gained the weight back and then he lost it again. Um, so there's a whole bunch of people that are just so inspiring and it makes me like not want to eat. <laughs> like. Hi, can I get um, four shots of blonde roast over um, ice in a venti cup? Uh, that's one blonde espresso? Yeah. Anything else we said? And in it, can I have um, three pumps of sugar free vanilla and three pumps of sugar free cinnamon jolte? Sure thing. Is that everything? And also with some um, heavy cream. Anything else we said? That's it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I was researching like how to order like different keto drinks from Starbucks. And that one looks pretty good, but I'll let you guys know too. All right, let's try this. Let's see if they got it right. Iced quad blonde espresso in a venti cup, three pumps sugar-free, like heavy cream. That's great. That is really delicious. <laughs> All right, let's hit the road. All right, so I'm gonna have my dinner. Went to Wendy's. It is fast food, but it is, I guess, keto friendly. Dirty keto fast food. So I got a baconator. No bun, no ketchup. Looks good. I got a garden salad. Um, with some ranch dressing but the ranch dressing has like sugar in it or something it's like half the fat kind so 
I don't know. Maybe I'll just use like half the packet. But park somewhere nice. And there we go. Bacon here. It says mayo, mustard, bacon, of course. Mmm. Wendy's has the freshest burgers. In my opinion. So. Give you a beauty bite. Mmm. Mm. That was so good. I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. I got a few things. For snacks and stuff, so I'll show you. So there's the salad. So I just put like half the packet of the ranch on it. So, but let me get to my haul first. So I went to Farm Boy and I just got a few things cleaner things to eat for a snack. That's my last meal. I like snack plates. So I got some blackberries. They are the lowest in carbs. This is prosciutto. I got two packs of the prosciutto. I love prosciutto and I like saying prosciutto. The only ingredients in this is pork leg and salt. Zero carbs. Now I wanted to have, there's no sodium nitrate. Now, they, I really wanted to have Hungarian salami, but there was like all kinds of crap in it. Nitrates, everything. I got two, two jars of olives. One has um, garlic, one is stuffed with, so this one's stuffed with garlic. The other one is stuffed with almonds. They were two for six on sale. And last, I have some uh, tomatoes and cucumbers at home and stuff, so. But I got a few cheeses because these will last. I'm going to wrap them really well. And um, just cut up like two ounces every time I have a snack plate or whatever. So this is Kerrygold. I love this hard ripened cheese. Zero carbohydrates. This was on special. I love smoked aged cheddar. This is one carbohydrate per three centimeter cube. So about an ounce, I think. And this is two aged two years Balderson. It's Canadian cheddar. And this has zero carbs. So the harder the cheese, the less the carb. <laughs> I didn't know that until I started looking into that. So um, I know what you're thinking. You're rolling your eyes, keto. Well, and it's kind of dirty keto. <laughs> but if that's what's going to help me lose weight, because like with this Wendy's, I don't know. I find like eating like cheeseburgers, meat, cheeses, fats, they do satiate you more and they do last longer you know if you eat something like a simple carbohydrate it's in and out of your system in like 20 minutes you know um have some water so i just feel like i'm not gonna get wendy's all the time i'm gonna make my own burgers and stuff but just because i was out today um i see on instagram there's people who have like lost a lot of weight even eating dirty keto. You know? <laughs> Good morning. Once again, I don't know what the hell I'm doing for my life. When I was leaving my house, I smelled ethnic food. Like, I can tell because, like, white people food is just, like, boring. <laughs> it doesn't smell so nice, you know, in the aromatic spices and all this and that, so craving that now so I might have that for dinner I had you know those uh, deviled eggs for breakfast with some berries so it's probably a, I just have a big dinner like of some kind of ethnic food that I'm craving I'm craving like rice and like beans or I don't know seafood I don't know something spicy I find like if I eat just protein like just eggs with like no carb with it I find like it just sits heavy in my stomach. It's almost like I need like some kind of fiber, like, you know what I mean? To like buffer, I don't know. It could be psychosomatic, but that's just how I feel. Um, yeah. All right guys, so I got my same thing I got yesterday. 
for the road and I'll get hungry. And I got a Capri sandwich. So it's 490 calories. I'm using my calorie counter for now. Um, I just need something more substantial than a couple boiled eggs. <laughs> you know, those, those deviled eggs are amazing. I put smoked paprika on them. They're good as like a little side, you know, but I need a sandwich. So you need a sandwich in my life. Famous last words. But I'm going to get this. They have, oh, there's this really, really delicious Indian food place. And I'm going to get it from there. I haven't had it in a long time. We used to go, I used to go with my aunt. Now they give you bigger portions. So I'm going to freeze it. I'm going to have my dinner. Like you'll see, I'll portion it out, put it in my calorie counter. And then I'm going to freeze the rest so that I can have it another time. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, guys. So I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello. Also, I'm getting ice cream. I actually don't eat ice cream very often. And um, because it's just like something I don't really crave often. I have more of a savory tooth than sweet tooth. But I'm going to be going by this ice cream place. I haven't eaten it in years. And they have like the best hard ice cream. Now I like hard ice cream, which yeah, is very is higher in calories. But I'm trying to not think of I'm trying to get rid of the mindset of I can't have, I can't have, I can't have. I'm trying to get into the mindset of I can have but less. Now it's different with fast food. Um you know, I had the Wendy's yesterday and that didn't feel like a fast food run for me because it's not something I would want to get, you know, <laughs> um, without the bun and everything, but it still was fast food. So that will be it for a little while. And, uh, but to say I'm never going to have something is when I get like, you know, it's just, it's not really real, really realistic, you know, just the type of life I have, um, going out and getting fast food binges, every night yeah that's that's gone um I don't want that to return uh you know I still have to stave off those cravings sometimes and I know people are concerned that it's a trigger to go out driving but it's something I have to learn to control and I haven't been able to but I think that I will be able to I think that uh, you know the key is for me to not completely deprive so I'm just trying to find what works for me, guys. I know that I've tried so many different things, and I know you guys are, you know, I've whiplash quite a bit. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I have my little scoop of ice cream again. One scoop, orange ice cream. Um, pretty big scoop, so I don't know. Let's taste it. I love orange ice cream. Usually it's all orange, but... Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Ew. Oh, beauty bite. Beauty bite. All right. I got my Indian food. So when I get home later tonight, that's what I'm going to have. And that will be my meal for... That will be it for me. I just feel... So whenever I say crushing my goals, my goal is not to binge not to overeat and to change my attitude and habits around food so overindulging overeating binging thinking of food as the enemy or as a friend even it's food and here's my food color paneer and I think it's called chol cholbe I don't know if it's chana masala or chole, but it's chickpeas in like a yogurt sauce with curry, I think, <laughs> and basmati rice. So what I'm going to do is, mm. oh, this smells good. This is three quarters, three quarters of a cup. This is a very fluffy rice. 
<laughs> I have every measurement except for a cup. And this is a quarter cup to make a full cup of rice. Okay. I want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> I'm not going to. I want to. I'm not going to. They even like spice the rice. Okay. He's like, do you want Nan? I'm like, no. Yes. <laughs> All right. Now, let's do half a cup of each, maybe. Half a cup. of each kind of olives. These are stuffed with almond and garlic. I love you. Mm. All right. Let's try this. This is the chickpea. Eat a bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs>